everybody and welcome again to English lessons at UNRWA satellite channel. أرحب بكم جميعا ولقاؤنا يتجدد عبر قناة الأونر والفضائية ودرس جديد من دروس اللغة الإنجليزية. In today's lesson we have a new structure that expresses how many times we do things or habits. أعزائي الطلاب سوف نتناول في درسنا اليوم تركيب جديد سيساعدنا في تقدير عدد مرات فعل الأشياء أو العادات المعينة. But first, let's see this group of pictures. Look at this picture. We say, wash my car. Repeat, wash my car. What about this picture? We say, brush my teeth. Again, brush my teeth. Thank you. Look at this picture. We say, clean my bedroom. Clean my bedroom. What about this picture? Look here. We say go to bed. Go to bed. Very good. But this picture, we say get up. Get up. يستيقظ من النوم. Again, get up. Look at the last picture. We say do my homework. Do my homework. Very good. To check your understanding, we have this activity which is match. Look here. Here we have verbs. Let's read them. Number one, brush. Number two, wash. Number three, do. And number four, go. Let's look at number one again. Brush. Brush my car. Or brush my teeth, or brush to bed, or brush homework. Thank you very much. We say brush my teeth. Thank you very much. Number two, wash, wash. Look here, wash my car, wash to bed, or wash homework. Exactly, this is wash my car. What about number three, do? Do to bed or do homework. Very good. We say do homework. And the last one, we say go to bed. Thank you very much. Now we have another activity which is read and circle. Here we have a picture and two choices. Look at the picture. We say get up or go to bed. Look at the picture carefully. Very good. We say, get up. Get up. But what about this picture? We say, wash my face or clean my room. Very good. Clean my room. Clean my room. Thank you very much. Now, dear students, what are the days of the week? Very good. Let's say them. Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Very good. Now look at the picture. We say, brush my teeth. I brush my teeth on Saturday, on Sunday, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, and on Friday. I brush my teeth all the week. بدلا من أن نقول جميع أيام الأسبوع، هناك كلمة مختصرة ممكن أن نقولها I always brush my teeth. أنا دائما أفرش أسناني أو أنا أفرش أسناني باستمرار. I always brush my teeth. Repeat. I always brush my teeth. Very good. Look here. Also, we have the days of the week. But look at this picture. We say, wash my car. I wash my car on Tuesday and on Thursday. Only two days. We say, I sometimes wash my car. أنظف سيارتي بعض الأوقات. كما تلاحظون أعزائي الطلاب أنني أنظف سيارتي فقط يومين في الأسبوع. So, 
I sometimes wash my car. Now repeat. I sometimes wash my car. Very good. Look at this picture. We say get up late. Get up late. يستيقظ من النوم متأخرا. I don't get up late on Saturday. On Sunday. On Monday. I don't get up on Tuesday and on Wednesday. On Thursday and on Friday, I don't get up late also. So we say, I never get up late. I never get up late. أنا لا أستيقظ من النوم متأخرا أبدا. Again, I never get up late. I never get up late. Thank you very much. Now let's read these sentences again. I always brush my teeth. I sometimes wash my car. I never get up late. Very good. Now let's look at this activity, which is listen and circle. Here we have a sentence with two choices. عليك هنا عزيز الطالب أن تستمع إلى الجملة الصحيحة ومن ثم تختار الكلمة الصحيحة. First, let's read this sentence. I always or I sometimes help my mother. Now listen to me. I always help my mother. I always help my mother. Which is the correct answer? Very good. I always help my mother. Thank you very much. Look at number two. I never or I always go to bed late. I never go to bed late. Again, I never go to bed late. Exactly, this is the correct answer. I never go to bed late. Number three. I never or I sometimes clean my bedroom. I sometimes clean my bedroom. Again, I sometimes clean my bedroom. Exactly, this is the correct answer. I sometimes clean my bedroom. Very good. Now we have another activity which is listen and write true or false. Here we have a sentence and we have a helping picture. First, let's read this sentence. Number one, Amy always helps her mom. Amy sometimes helps her mom. Again, Amy sometimes helps her mom. Is it right? No, I don't think so. So it's false. Because the correct answer is Amy sometimes helps her mom. Amy sometimes helps her mom. Number two. Ali never gets up early. Ali never gets up early. Ali always gets up early. Ali always gets up early. Is it right? Of course, no, because the correct answer is Ali always gets up early. Again, Ali always gets up early. Very good. Now, dear students, we have a new activity which is complete. Here we have a picture and three choices. And we have a sentence with missing word. I play in the street. Look here. Here we have a street. لدينا شارع. So I never or sometimes or always play in the street. Of course, I never play in the street. أنا لا ألعب في الشارع أبدا. Number two. Look here. I never or sometimes or always brush my hair of course i always brush my hair انا امشط شعري دائما now dear students let's have this short break after that we'll continue our lesson
Welcome back. Now, dear students, let's read the sentences. Number one, Amy sometimes helps her mom. Number two, Ali always gets up early. And the last one, Mona never plays in the street. Look here. لاحظ معي عزيز الطالب أن الجمل الثلاث التي أمامنا بدأت بأسماء أشخاص. Here we have Amy. Amy sometimes helps. لاحظ معي هنا عزيز الطالب أننا أضفنا حرف الإس في نهاية الفعل لأن الجملة بدأت بمفرد مؤنث ولأن الجملة دلت على عادة نقوم بها أحيانا. Amy sometimes helps her mom. Look at this sentence. Here we have Ali. Ali is a mother مفرد. Always gets up early. وأيضا هنا أضفنا حرف الإس في نهاية الفعل. وأيضا لدينا هنا كلمة منى وهي أيضا مؤنث مفرد. منى never plays in the street. وأيضا هنا أضفنا حرف الإس في نهاية الفعل. اعلم هنا عزيز الطالب أننا نضيف حرف الإس في نهاية أغلب أفعال اللغة الإنجليزية في هذا الزمن المضارع البسيط. ولدينا هنا بعض الحروف مثل SH or CH or O like brush we say brushes هنا أضفنا حرفين وهما ES watches هنا أضفنا حرفين ES وأيضا الفعل go أضفنا ES بمعنى أن نهاية الأفعال الثلاث انتهت بحرف ال SH أو CH أو O look at these examples She always brushes her teeth. Ben sometimes watches TV. And look at this example. Murad always does his homework. لاحظ معي هنا عزيز الطالب أن الجمل الثلاثة أيضا بدأت بمفرد مذكر أو مؤنث. ولكن انظر إلى الفعل. Here we have brushes. And here we have watches. And here we have does. Thank you very much. But look carefully at this group of sentences. I always brush my teeth. Again, I always brush my teeth. Look at this sentence. They sometimes clean their bedroom. They sometimes clean their bedroom. Look at the last example. We never go to bed late. لاحظ معي هنا عزيز الطالب. I وذي ووي وهي كلمات تدل أو تعامل معاملة الجمع For example I always brush my teeth I brush نلاحظ هنا أعزائي الطلاب أننا لم نضف شيئا على الإطلاق في هذا الزمن They They sometimes clean وأيضا هنا لم نضف شيء ونفس الشيء We We never go to bed late وأيضا في هذا المثال لم نضف شيئا في نهاية الفعل. Again, I always brush my teeth. They sometimes clean their bedroom. We never go to bed late. Very good. To check your understanding, we have this activity which is complete. Here we have a sentence with a picture. Number one, he always clean his shoes. عليك هنا عزيز الطالب أن تقرأ الجملة جيدا ومن ثم تحدد فيما إذا كان الفعل يحتاج إلى إس أم لا. Here we have clean and here we have he. Very good. We need إس. So he always cleans his shoes. Thank you very much. Look at number two. She sometimes go to bed late. أيضا لدينا في بداية الجملة she. وهنا لدينا الفعل go لاحظ هنا عزيز الطالب أن لدينا حرف الأو هل نحتاج إلى إس فقط؟ Thank you نحتاج إلى إس نحتاج إلى حرفين So she sometimes goes to bed late Very good Number three I always get up early I always get up early Do we need to add anything? Of course not, because here we have I. لدينا الضمير I. So I always get up early. إنها جملة صحيحة. Thank you very much. Now, dear students, let's look at this question. How often do you wash the car? 
How often do you wash the car? كم مرة تنظف السيارة? Here we say, I sometimes wash the car. Now repeat with me. How often do you wash the car? I sometimes wash the car. Again, how often do you wash the car? I sometimes wash the car. Very good. What about this question? How often do you brush your teeth? How often do you brush your teeth? كم مرة تفرش أسنانك؟ Of course, I say, I always brush my teeth. I always brush my teeth. Again, repeat with me. How often do you brush your teeth? I always brush my teeth. Very good. Look at this question. How often do you do homework at night? كم مرة تؤدي واجباتك في الليل؟ Of course, I say, I never do my homework at night. I never do my homework at night. Now repeat with me. How often do you do your homework at night? I never do homework at night. I never do homework at night. Thank you very much. Now, dear students, we have this activity which is rearrange. Here we have some words. عليك هنا عزيزي الطالب إعادة ترتيب هذه الكلمات لتكون جملة مفيدة. First, let's read these words. Sometimes I the car wash. Can you rearrange it? Very good. We say I sometimes wash the car. I sometimes wash the car. Very good. Look at number two. I teeth brush my and always. Thank you very much. I say I always brush my teeth. Again, I always brush my teeth. Very good. Now, dear students, can you rearrange this question? How you often clean do choose your. Do you remember? Exactly. We say, how often do you clean your shoes? Again, how often do you clean your shoes? Thank you very much. Now, dear students, we'll continue our lesson, but after this break. Please be with us. Welcome back, dear students, to the last part in our lesson for today, which is complete the dialogue. Here we have a dialogue between Basim and Fiona, and we have three words. ونلاحظ عزيزي الطالب أننا لدينا ثلاث كلمات وهي أكثر مما نحتاج. Let's start. Basim says, hello, 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 the same thing, or Basim or Fiona. Very good. Basim says, hello, Fiona. Hello, Fiona. Fiona says, Hello, or Basim. Fiona says, Hello, Basim. So, Hello, Fiona. Hello, Basim. Let's continue. Basim asks, Do you? Yes, or get, or go up early. Exactly. It's, Do you get up early? Do you get up early? Fiona says, Yes or go, I do. Excellent. Yes, I do. Do you get up early? Yes, I do. Very good. Basim asks, how do you get up early? How late? How often? Or how always? تذكر معي عزيزي الطالب التركيب الجديد. How? Very good. How often? So, the question is, how often do you get up early? How often do you get up early? Fiona says, I late or always get up early. Thank you very much. 
I always get up early. I always get up early. Very good. Now let's continue. Basim asks, How often do you? How often do you go to bed? Never, here or late. Thank you very much. It's late. So how often do you go to bed late? Fiona says, I go to bed late. Fiona says, I go to bed late. Exactly. I never go to bed late. Very good. Now let's repeat the same dialogue together. Hello, Fiona. Hello, Basim. Do you get up early? Yes, I do. How often do you get up early? I always get up early. How often do you go to bed late? I never go to bed late. Thank you very much. That's all for today. أعزائي الطلاب كان هذا كل ما في جعبتنا لهذا اليوم. إلى أن ألقاكم المرة القادمة. هذه تحياتي وإلى اللقاء. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.